start with file A4 OK. Then you want to rotate it, image, transform and rotate. There we go, landscape. Um, select your pictures from your folder and drag them across and drop. And then you want to go to image, no tools, scale, or you could use the scale icon and stretch the background to fit your page. Now you'll need to experiment with a blurring. So I'm going to blur some of the background so that it recedes into the distance. You want the background more um, blurred, less detailed and lighter. That's aerial perspective. Aerial perspective is when particles in the atmosphere, a bit like fog, uh, make things look lighter as you go back into the distance and also uh, they will look less focused because your eyes will be focusing more on the objects in the front. I'm now using the warp trans transformation tool to distort the uh, picture further to turn it into a sort of more ambiguous landscape. You can use any sort of picture if you're going to use the warp transformation tool because you won't be able to tell what it was after you've stretched it. So now I'm going to paint um, some, use the paintbrush and paint um, some opaque colours in the background to lighten it a bit further. So by clicking on the uh, box on the left at the bottom of the toolbar you can change and whatever colour you like. Now I'm using the ellipse, the ellipse tool. If you press shift or is it control um, you'll get a perfect circle. I'm going to be making a moon shape so um, I've cut and pasted it and I'm moving it across and you can see it's on another layer. I'm using levels now just to see what it's like if I make it lighter or darker. But I think I'd like to um, paint, so I'm pressing on the... Alpha channel, that was the alpha channel layer, um, to stop um, paint going on the translucent layer. If you if you click on the uh, block out alpha channel, the paint will only go on where there's a the selection of colours in the centre of the circle. So it will only go on the circle. So now I'm just using um, light colours and dark colours to create shadows to make it look a bit more like a sphere, like a moon, a moon shape. Um, Um, now I'm going to hue saturation and you can experiment with changing the hue although you don't really notice it too much on this channel. And then of course you can make the colours lighter or darker, play around with the saturation and the lightness, see how um, how bright you would like it. So this one's actually looking a bit like a sort of iridescent dark bubble. I've dragged the biomorphic form over onto the page and I'm now going to use, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, but I'm going to use the threshold tool to make the contrast between the light and the dark more distinctive because the pencil drawing was quite light. Now I'm going to um, cl right click and choose, look to see if I need to choose add alpha channel. I don't, so I'm just using the um, fuzzy select tool and then control X. There we go. I'm going to click on locking the alpha channel so I'm only going to paint inside the white pixels of the biomorphic form. It won't paint on the translucent background and I'm going to paint some light opaque um, colours onto the biomorphic form 
so I've lightened the opacity. Uh, you can select the colours just by clicking and selecting. So some blue now. Changing the size, making it a little bit bigger. I'm now going to be selecting um, another color, another shape, so you can use any any sort of natural form picture. I'm going to sort of use the free uh, select tool to select any shape. And select inverse or cut. Now that one's cut out to the background, which is black at the moment, so I need to add an alpha channel and then press control X. So I've added an alpha channel and then control X with that. Play around with the hue saturation, except my selection areas, cut it off slightly, never mind. Um, play around with the colors a bit more in hue saturation. I think I'm going to make it darker, so it's more like a silhouette. So it stands out at the front. So we need a foreground and then middle ground and background. Well, we already have the soft background. So now I need detailed shapes for the foreground. So I've selected this, this um, sea creature, selecting the background with the fuzzy select tool and then control X. If you click on the duplicate um, the layer, you get another one and you will be able to even change the size of it. So uh, you can either use the shortcut keys or find the scale tool in the toolbar at the top. So I'm changing the size of it, moving it duplicating another one so I should have two there groups of three if you're going to have a group of shapes an uneven number is best play around with the different colors change them slightly 